So the next part of the electrophoresis activity is to actually load the gel. So the first thing that we want to do is pull out the stoppers that are on either side and put them back in their holders. Next, we want to pull out the comb really gently to make sure that we keep our wells intact. So the next part is to actually load the gel. So we take our pipetter and one of our samples and before I go there, I'd like to say this is a good time to mention labeling your samples and making sure that you know which one is going in which well. You can use a worksheet like this or any other uh, notation so that you know exactly which samples you're loading into which wells. So after we've written that down, we can actually go ahead, take our pipe header, put a tip on it, and the first thing we want to do is push out all the air inside so we don't get any air bubbles. We put our tip into our sample and draw the liquid up slowly. Once it's in the tip, we can go into one of the wells. And so we want to make sure that our tip is inside the well but not touching the bottom to ensure that we're, again, keeping our wells intact. So we push down to evacuate all the liquid from inside the tip and then we come back out being very gentle to make sure that we're keeping our wells intact before we move to our next sample we want to switch to a new tip to make sure that we're not contaminating from one sample to another so we've got one more sample to load here and again we're going to push out all the air and then draw up the liquid slowly insert our tip into the well, not all the way to the bottom, push out the liquid, and come back out. So once we have all of our samples loaded and it's all properly documented, the next step is going to be to put a buffer solution in. So we want to pour this very slowly and carefully to make sure that we're not displacing the sample that we've already loaded into the wells. So we pour from the right side pour slowly and gently and we want to pour just to the point that the entire gel is submerged. So once we've gotten that far, put our buffer solution aside, we're going to close the gel box and take the power cords. We're going to plug the black side into the black, the red side into the red. And then we look over at our power supply, which has the same corresponding colors plugged in. And we're going to turn it on to 150 volts.